Hi, baby girls! Welcome back to my channel. So today, we're review natin itong bagong product from EB Advance. Nung nakita ko to dun sa Instagram page nila, I was so excited because wow, bagong parang foundation na naman. Pero this one is marketed as a DB foundation stick. So let's see kung maganda ba to. First things first, I'll show you the packaging. Ayan siya. I really do like the packaging. Gusto ko yung print ng box. Very simple and elegant and wala, gusto ko lang siya. I like the aesthetic of it. Char aesthetic. Okay. So this one contains 6 grams of the product. The EB Advanced BB Foundation Stick glides smoothly on skin, creating the perfect flawless base. Tignan natin kung totoo ba yan. This product provides light to medium coverage meant to last throughout the day. And made in China siya. Tapos it says here it's cruelty free. It lasts for 24 months after opening and paraben free din daw siya. Bongga. I got it for 260 pesos. I bought this sa Lazada because I think sa Lazada pa lang siya available. And as you all know, dito sa amin sa probinsya, super tagal maglabas ng everbilena na mga bagong products. So the only way to get them is online. I got the shade Oriental pala, baby girls. And it's really sad kasi yung EB Advance, dalawang shade lang ang nilabas nila dito sa foundation or BB foundation stick na ito. Nakakaloka. Now, itong shade na to na Oriental, they said na okay daw to for light to medium skin tones. And meron pa isang shade Warm Beige, which is good daw for medium to dark skin tones. Pero, I don't know. Ito nga yung actual packaging ng product. Packaging, okay. Gusto ko yung packaging in fairness, baby girls. Ang ganda. Parang super simple lang. Tapos, it looks medyo so shalin in my opinion. Alright, so now, let's go ahead and check yung product. Okay. Medyo parang dark siya ng konti. From the looks of it, like from the stick pa lang, parang medyo oily yung consistency nito. We'll see how it works on the skin. Alright, now, let's zoom you in closer para mas makita nyo yung itsura ng aking skin ngayon and how it applies on my face. Ayan, super lapit ko na sa inyo. I am micro peeling. Let's start on this side right here. And siguro glide ko lang yung BB foundation stick directly on my face. Medyo dark siya tignan. Mas light siya tignan sa camera compared in person. Anyway, tignan na lang natin if magbe-blend ba siya sa skin natin. Gagamit ako ng sponge to blend the product into my face. Kasi nga, nagpipili yung face ko. So, feeling ko kung brush yung gagamitin ko, mas ma-accentuate yung peeling ng aking skin. Medyo, yung amoy nito. Medyo amoy chemical siya, baby. Chemical talaga. <laughs> Alam mo ba sa pagkabisaya? Medyo amoy chemical siya. Pero kung ganito, eh, na-apply mo siya sa face mo, hindi naman ganun ka pungent yung smell niya compared to sinisimhot mo talaga ng ganyan. Ayan, there we go. So that is one layer of the product. And kung makikita nyo, medyo, medyo shiny siya tignan sa aking face. No? So medyo oily talaga yung consistency niya, baby girls. Medyo oily yung formula. Ito try kong mag-build up kasi light coverage lang yung nabigay niya for me. So I'm gonna check kung kaya niya ba talagang ibigay yung promise niya na light to medium coverage meant to last throughout the entire day. So, nabigay niya yung light. Let's build it up konti doon sa mga areas na kailangan pa natin ng coverage. And let's see kung mabibigay ba niya yung medium coverage. Alright, there we go, baby girls. Na-apply ko na yung foundation on this side of my face. And as you can see, medyo kita pa rin yung ating mga pimple scars. Pero for me, like for everyday, okay na okay na to para sa akin. Um, yan nga lang, baby girls, medyo mabigat yung feeling niya sa skin. Hindi siya light wearing foundation. Like you can really feel na meron kang in-apply sa skin mo. So, kung baguhan ka pa sa makeup, I don't think you will find this comfortable for your skin. Pero, for someone like me, na like sanay na sanay ng mga foundation, okay lang siya para sa akin. 
Also, if you can see my pimple right here, makikita mo na hindi siya ganun kaganda tignan nung pinatungan natin siya with foundation. So, hindi ko na siya papatungan pa because it might look a little too crusty. Let's move on dito sa other side of my face and I'll get back to you guys later. And there we go, baby girls. Natapos ko nang i-apply yung BB foundation stick all over my face. Stick. BB foundation stick. <laughs> and ayan na nga siya. This is how it looks like on my entire face. Natapos ko na siyang i-apply. Medyo malagkit siya, baby girls. And sa nakikita ko sa mirror ko dito, na-cover niya naman yung ibang mga imperfections ko. Pero yung mga super dark imperfections, hindi niya talaga na-cover. And this pimple right here is doing not so good. Um, dun din sa mga areas na meron ako mga peeling na nagaganap. Medyo patchy siya tignan. Medyo patchy din siya tignan right here on my chin, baby girls, if you can, if you are able to see. Pero all in all, kung hindi ka naman ganito kalapit sa face ko, hindi mo mapapansin yung peeling on my skin. So I really do appreciate that. Pero para sa mga oily skinned ladies like me, um, I don't think you will appreciate this BB foundation stick kasi nga tignan yung kano ka oily yung finish niya baby girls. It's super malagkit sa feeling, mabigat sa face. I'm a little bit disappointed kasi dalawa nga lang yung shades niya. Okay naman yung coverage niya, pero yung feeling niya sa skin, dun siya <laughs> walang sound yung first. Dun siya <laughs> walang sound. Tapos, ngayon pa nila ito nilabas sa market kung kailan summer. So, besh, kung nasa labas ka using this BB foundation stick, forget it. Anyway, baby girls, yung time ngayon is 2.28pm. So, medyo late na tayo nagsimula. Pero, yeah, as of the moment, hindi ko siya masyadong favorite. Ang bigat niya sa skin. Ang lagkit, baby girls, nakakaloka. Dumirikit yung mga buhok ko sa pagmumukha ko. Alright, so that's it for now. Sa ngayon, um, I'm gonna film another video and finish my entire face of makeup. Um, I don't think I will really put on that much powder kasi nga nagpipili yung face ko. Siguro just a little bit on the nose and here, dito sa part ng cheeks ko kasi yun yung super oily na parts ng aking face. Alright, so as mentioned, I'll be doing a wear test. So babalik ako mamaya para mag-update sa inyo on how this foundation or BB foundation stick works on my oily and peeling skin. <laughs> See you later. Alright, the pagyal. So, kakatapos ko lang mag-film ng Get Ready With Me video. Kaya, nagpalit ako ng damit. Para naman may variety ang ating videos. Charot. Anyway, gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo how the foundation looks like in natural lighting. And definitely, super ganda niya tingnan. <laughs> um, if you're looking for a foundation na yung parang natural looking finish, this is not the foundation for you. Kasi kahit na hindi siya full coverage foundation, talagang foundation day ang look niya sa skin mo. And my tenden... Oh, and my tenden... And my tendency siyang mag, maging cakey looking. Like, siguro after a few hours. Kasi ngayon nakikita ko na right here, medyo cakey looking na siya. Kasi dyan na area, medyo pinagpapawisan ako. So siguro that's the reason why. Also, yung time ngayon, 3.23pm, one hour pa lang yung lumipas. Ang ingay, Bess! Ano problema? <laughs> one hour pa lang yung lumipas and I'm looking a little shiny. I think I'm gonna do the flash photo test. Like, using my phone lang kasi sira ang flash nito ng aking camera. Let's turn this light off. Kasi baka ito din yung salary. And, ayan, nag-take ako ng pictures and parang I am blinded by the light, baby girls. <laughs> Hindi ko makita ng maayos yung <laughs> picture ko. Pero looking at it dito sa aking phone, parang okay naman siya. I don't see that much white cast. Parang kitang-kita yung oil sa forehead ko. Pero okay naman siya sa flash. I'm not mad at it. Bongga! Ay, nangyayari sa labas! Anyway, that's it for now. Babalik ako mamaya for another update about this foundation. It's 9.12 p.m. What? How does my face look? Simple. Sa point of view ng isang lalaki, okay naman daw ang aking face. Actually, okay lang naman siya. Dito. Pero dito, thank you for the light. Dito, medyo nagkikiki na siya. And, 
mabigat lang talaga siya sa pagbumukha. Especially kanina, lumabas kami. Tapos, hindi, hindi siya aircon, pero malamig naman kasi gabi. Tapos, muulan. So, okay lang. Mabigat lang talaga siya sa face. Kung sanay ka mag-foundation, okay lang siya. Like me. Pero kung hindi ka sanay, then you will not like this. Sisettle siya here, sa side ng aking nose. Pero dito, hindi masyado. Mas malala dito. Mm, also, oily na naman ako. Nag-blot ako kanina before kami umalis. Two hours ago. Ayoko na siyang suotin. <laughs> hindi ko na siya type suotin. Malagkit kasi siya. Oh, tapos nagta-transfer yung oil. Tignan nyo, when I touched my face. Nag-transfer yung oil sa aking fingers. If you can see that. Hindi siya oily skin friendly. And that is it for today's video. I did not like this. EB Advanced BB Foundation Stick, sadly, because I'm oh, not <laughs> ang mood mo because of this BB Foundation Stick. Because malakit heavy sa skin, medyo mainit nga siya konti dito, and yeah, gusto ko na siya kubare. Siguro they need to like work on their formula before trying to get things out there, before trying to, you know, I want ko. I think they're just coming up with new makeup just for the sake of coming up, coming out with new makeup. No? Mas maganda ang formula nung ano nila, nung BB cream. EB Advanced BB cream. Yung may pink tsaka yung may violet na packaging. Alright, so that's it for today's video with the girls. I hope nakatulong naman itong review natin for today. Like kung nagustuhan nyo and kung nakatulong. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help this plant become a butterfly. Shout out of the day! Hi to Pichang Ana Fam. Hello! Thank you for watching. And that's it for today. Bye bye! All I am is trouble, trouble, trouble.